Hey guys, it's Longhorn Engineer, and here is the long overdue video about my NES 3D printed portable. And uh, well, here's the guts of it. So we have a PlayStation 1 screen, 5 inch LCD that is hacked down a bunch. So if you look at it, this side's chopped, the entire top of it's chopped off. It's a little bit trimmed over here, but not too much. Um, all the connectors down here are removed. Uh, let's see what else is there. The regulators have been removed. See, there used to be some 7805s here. I removed those. I'm running those off my. Um, there's a uh, 5 volt regulator underneath here. Switching regulator. TI switcher. Right down in there. Which powers. The five volts to the screen which those regulators would take place which greatly reduces the power consumption of the screen I don't remember the exact figures but I remember it being close to about 20 to 30 uh, percent power savings uh, I use a actual NES board for the controls so if you flipped it up it actually has NES buttons and it feels just like an NES controller would which is very, very groovy. Then there's the NES2 main board, which is upside down because the cart slot goes through the back. Underneath there, I won't remove the board, but underneath there is two 3.7 volt lithium batteries that are in series, which produce 7.4 volts because the screen needs uh, 7.4 volts for the sound part to work. And then that's converted to 5 volts with the regulator, which is fed to the board and the screen and to the controller. And then there's a spark fun. Ooh, that's a little fuzzy. A little spark fun audio amp down there. Which is connected to this slide potentiometer. Get a shot in there. And to this speaker. Oh yeah, that's right. I am not using the PS1 audio. Uh, let's see, it was a long time ago. I've, oh yeah, because the PS1 audio was not boosting the volume loud enough. And so I'm using this this uh, booster right here. There's a charge port right there. Is that silver guy? This is the reset button. Power switch on top. And I'll be right back when I put it all back together. Ah, yes, before I put it back together, I want to show you all this. So I, th when I designed this case, I th had the case put this little bevel here. It's kind of hard to see. But there's a little bevel here that juts up. And there's a little inset on this side of the case. And so when these come together, they lock together. I'll show y'all. See if I can get it to lock together. See? And so they won't slide around or anything like that. Um, if you check out the project page, you can download the Autodesk 123D file of this case and you can look at it and you can see how I did that. It's pretty simple though. Okay, now back for real with the case all back together. Okay, so here it is all back together. I already put the cartridge in there. And uh, I powered it on. Make sure the volume's all, yeah, it's all the way up. So y'all can hear it. So, the, uh, the actually the really cool thing about the assembly of this portable is that uh, there is no glue. It's all held together by screws and solder, which is really, really neat. Most portables have tons of hot glue in them. This one, not so much. It's kind of hard to play this game with one hand. Oop. I 
I wonder if I just hold and just walk the entire way. Boop. Apparently I can. Anyways, that's uh the overview of the portable.